In the second session, I was able to halter Big Red with just a little drama. Now I'm using treats as an incentive and asking him to accept haltering over and over again. Good boy. Good. His habit is to accept the treat and then leave, but with a little encouragement he stays. And since catching and haltering is the issue right now, that's all we'll do. So now I'm asking for just a bit more. I want him to let me catch him and put the halter on before he gets the treat. And then I move to rubbing him a little bit before I remove the halter. Oh, this will be a lot of cooking. After a few repetitions of that, I toss an empty bucket in the pen, and of course he's curious. We take a break and I play a little guitar for him. And right away, the curious and confident horse that we know he wants to be shows up. A super good sign. So I'd like to take a look at one way to think about what we're doing. Here's our reluctant student, Big Red. Inside the green circle are all the things he understands and is comfortable doing. Inside the yellow circle are things he can kind of do or understand, but may still be nervous about. And outside the yellow circle are things he just can't or won't do, usually because of fear, not understanding, physical inability, or refusal. Sometimes a combination of these things. Our goal, of course, is to move as many of these skills into the green circle as we can. And we should do that by starting with easy and important things. Asking him what he can do. Finding the edge of his comfort zone. And fussing around there. Not pushing him too much, but encouraging him and teaching like a good coach might. Through this process, we'll not only move more skills into his green comfort zone, we'll develop trust and communication and he'll learn how to be in school. So far we've worked on relaxing with people, which I'd put about here. Catching, also about here. Leading and manners, maybe a little farther in. And a come to me cue, just starting on that. So we can see he's made some progress but there's still a lot more to do. Some of the more important things to work on are handling feet, so he'll be better with the farrier, vet prep, so he'll be better with the vet, and desensitizing and softening to pressure. He's shown us he can make progress on these things, so it's just a matter of time and focus to get all these skills within his green comfort zone. Boy. After our break, we go yeah. back to haltering. This time I ask him to lead just a little bit before he gets the treat. <laughs> and next I add a come to me cue, a double clap of my hands. He does okay. So we try it at liberty. Good and again he boy. does okay. Good boy. A great place to quit. <laughs> 